freedom and wholeness. I'm Sue Detweiler. My goal is to help you live with more passion, love with more purpose, and live an overcoming life. Today on Healing Rain, I have invited Russ Jones, who is the executive producer of the Abide Bible app. And I've invited him to come on really because I've wanted to give a couple of tools for healthy habits in the new year. And I don't know about you, but sleep is important and having daily meditations is important. And there are a number of Bible apps that have been helpful and a blessing to people. So I wanted to introduce you to that. But before I have Russ Jones on the program, I want you to do something. I want you, if you haven't already, go to suedoutweiler.com and download Five Steps of Grace, A Journey Guide to Freedom. This really is a gift for you in the new year of being able to cleanse even the inner heart emotions. There's something about cleansing that we have a pure heart and clean hands and that we don't lift up our soul to an idol to quote um, psalm 24 and i just want to give you as many tools as i can for you to live a healthy overcoming life Well, welcome to Healing Rain. Today's guest is Russ Jones. Welcome on Healing Rain, Russ. Hey, it's great to see you. Hope things are going well for you. Thanks for the chance to be with you. Well, I just love what you're doing. And we got to meet at the National Religious Broadcasters. And we talked about an app called the Abide Bible app. And for me personally, it impacted my life when I was going through double knee replacement. Mm -hmm. And there I was in incredible pain in the hospital at night. And I found on YouTube actually abide. And it was something that I listened to in the night. And, and as we're going into the new year, I wanted to interview you, Russ, because really this app is making a difference in people's lives in terms of being able to sleep, in terms of um, anxiety being overcome. So can you talk about the vision of um, the Abide app? Oh, absolutely. It's one of my uh, favorite things to talk about because the impact is so great and uh, it's so humbling to be involved with this project. Uh, you know, about s uh, over six years ago, two former Google employees in Silicon Valley had a vision to use this new tech technology uh, to expand the gospel and to be bring peace to those that might be struggling. And uh, the irony of our devices uh, and using it to bring peace, uh, the very devices that often bring anxiety with our push <laughs> notifications and our calendar reminders and all of these things. And and six years later, uh, 3,000 some people every day are downloading our app for the very first time. And they are seeking the very things you were. They were mm -hmm. seeking some relief from any number of real life situations ranging from just the need of healing the need of prayer anxiety depression all kinds of issues that impair people from fully walking in in the grace and purposes of the lord so every day we get to see that and read the feedback from our users uh, through our various content on the app from daily meditations uh, we hope people will start their day uh, with abide and then at, at night uh, helping people that struggle with insomnia and sleep disorders mm -hmm. well i love the name abide you know immediately it takes me to john 15 That's and right. how jesus said that you know he's the vine we're the branches that we are to abide in him and he would abide in me is that where the name comes from absolutely you 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 hit it right on the head and uh, we do help people abide 
uh, through through the various forms of content that we develop and uh, helping people just simply rest. You know, we're so busy, aren't we? We are just so busy. You would think that uh, we would be able to do it on our own, and obviously we can't, so we need some nudging, and we're that <laughs> coach. We're that coach on your device that gives you permission mm -hmm. to just simply be. So our daily meditations actually uh, involve breathing exercises and the um, idea of being still. Uh, oddly enough, in, in the radio business, dead air is, is not good. Uh, but in our daily meditations, we give people uh, time for pause and to be still. And we actually say, okay, you know, take the next few moments just to listen to the Lord and be, be still. And we'll, we'll um, mm -hmm. write, in, write in prompts about what, what's in your way today of, of you truly embracing uh, the, the love God has for you. And, and then we build in this silence in, in the meditation so people can think about it, ponder it. Oh, that's so good. And I, I, I haven't experienced the daily meditations yet, but now that we're talking about it, I'll, I'll, I'll check that out as well. And I, you do that as well in, in the sleep app, you know, the Bible meditations. And one thing that I like about the sleep app is that you have a focus. You have a scripture that you're focusing in on. And I love meditation. And I feel like we have lost the art of meditation. And in meditation in terms of the the Hebrew word was haga, and it basically means to chew on and almost like a cow chews its cud, you know, just to constantly chew on. And I don't think we do that enough in our life. And for too many, I think Christians, they're turning to Netflix or something like that to relax at night. And, and there are, I, I mean, I have been really um, appalled personally of how there's so many pornographic images that come in through our um, whatever, if, if you use Netflix, for example, you can have really good programming and then all of a sudden you have really terrible programming right. coming into our homes. Um, and it, it makes me want to buy, buy caught, you know, <laughs> screens, right. you know, right. because of the negative and yet like everything, um, it's amoral depending on how we're going to use it. Are we going to use the screens for good or are we going to allow them to bring worldly perspective in? Well, that's so interesting that you bring that up because we often talk about internally our greatest competition, to use that word, isn't uh, other apps or whatnot, but it's Netflix, it's Hulu, it's Prime for the very mm -hmm. reasons you're talking about. And uh, my wife and I, we've lost count how many number of times we'll be watching something and then all of a sudden mm -hmm. there's a there's a plot, there's a theme that just does not fit our worldview. And, and so mm -hmm. if you look at our Netflix account, mm -hmm. you'll see dozens upon dozens of things resume uh, because we stopped and, and moved on to something else. So we are aware of that. That's why you found us on YouTube because, mm -hmm. you know, we, we need to be in that space, giving people an alternative. And mm -hmm. um, sometime next year, we will hit 1 million followers on our sleep channel. Now, wow. Sleep is a very interesting concept. Mm -hmm. And uh, over these past three years, the time I've been with Abide, I've actually developed a theology of sleep. Who would have thought? But I did not know until my work with, with this app that so many people struggle with insomnia and sleep mm -hmm. uh, disorders. And mm -hmm. that's much of the reasons you're talking about because we, we our default is watching movies, our default is turning on the TV to fill the void or the emptiness or whatever. And I, and I get that, especially for single people, uh, you know, where you miss having somebody around or whatever. But... Um, we spend a great deal of time 
Mm -hmm. uh, thinking about how do we get creative in our sleep stories. And, and you know, we've lost the art of storytelling in our culture. The mm -hmm. Hebrews were awesome. That's how we got our Bible. They orally mm -hmm. passed those stories down. And, and so I have surrounded myself with amazing storytellers. And, and so we take people on a journey and, and um, invite them to get rest. And we see people um, writing us all the time that I no longer have to use medications. One user said, I used to take NyQuil every night and I don't have to do that anymore. And um, that's just amazing that that scripture can be used in such a way. Uh, you can kind of laugh about it if you want. Scripture puts me to sleep. But what better thing to, to end your day with is, mm -hmm. is God's truth in, in his word. So we really press into... Uh, the whole idea of uh, understanding where people are at when they're trying to sleep. And I'll tell you, it's very humbling to be invited into somebody's bedroom, so to speak, into their very intimate space where they are depending on you to, to help them get rest. Because without rest, we are useless to anybody and to God. Well, it's a it's one of the first promises of God. If you think about it, when man and woman were created in the garden, their first day of being alive, you know, after they were created was not a work day. It was immediately the seventh day when God rested. And so rest is not something that you have to work hard enough so that you can rest. Rest is a reward. And rest is also something where you're entrusting that, that the God of the universe is in control. And there's something about the Hebraic thought about night and day. If you, if you look at that story in Genesis, it's not morning, then evening, it's evening, then morning. The Hebraic thought was that the day began in the evening. Yes. And so I think for Christians, if we can reclaim our evenings, mm -hmm. and we're going to have better mornings. If we, if we are able to meditate on the word of God, like it tells us in Joshua, you know, evening and morning, and noonday. Um, yeah, absolutely. And I think some people hesitate about these ideas that you bring up because they have some notion that uh, meditation is new age. Well, in many ways, the new age movement has, has taken, uh, it's stolen. <laughs> yeah. Stol stolen. Yeah. Let's just call it what it is. It's like some very important symbols in scripture have been stolen. Like, mm -hmm. you know, the rain, you know, what, what not, but, um, mm -hmm. Christian meditation is, is solely on the word of God. If, mm -hmm. if you want to look at it that way and what it reveals about him and his works. And we see this in Psalm 77, uh, 10 through 12. And David uh, mm -hmm. meditated on the Lord. And uh, to be totally honest, meditation, the idea of meditation was was talked about 500 years before Buddha was even born. So mm -hmm. if you want to look at, at, at truth, it, it comes from scripture. And, and then mm -hmm. we uh, put this truth into practice. So that's what we do. And, and a big mm -hmm. part of what we do at Abide is educating people. Mm -hmm. You're right. Med you know, meditation done incorrectly, if you're a Christian, is absolutely new age. Mm -hmm. and, well, yeah, yeah, it's the opposite. Because mm -hmm. part of the Eastern meditation is you're trying to get rid of everything. You're trying That's to, right. you know, whereas Christian meditation is you are recognizing that you have been created by God in the image of God, and he's given you the word of God to renew your mind. We have the mind of Christ because of the meditation that we do right. on his word and the renewing of our mind daily. Yes, absolutely. And and we give people permission to do that. And mm -hmm. um, outside of that hour on Sunday morning. And, and what, mm -hmm. while, while that fellowship of church and, and fellowshipping together in as the body of Christ on Sundays or Saturdays or whenever you do that, 
uh, is important. It's those six other days of the week where the mm -hmm. pastor is not around. And and at Abide, we we don't preach. We leave preaching to pastors. What we do mm -hmm. provide, though, is the foundation where you can come to sustain and build healthy spiritual habits, healthy mm -hmm. Christian right. spiritual habits and making prayer mm -hmm. a habit in your life. It is, you know, isn't it true? I mean, and, and this uh, COVID and all that really helped us get out of the habit of going to church in, in not a good way. And, and, and at the same time, a lot of churches got more proficient at using technology and streaming on, on, on the internet, which, which is good. But um, I think we've developed some, uh, some ha mm -hmm. habits of isolating ourselves that are, are not healthy. Yeah. Uh, spiritually speaking might be for our health at times, but um, uh, mm -hmm. not, not spiritually. So we've seen a, a, a major spike in usage uh, over the past two years. So much so that I need to announce that Abide was purchased by Guidepost based in Danbury, Connecticut. And Guidepost has been around for about 75 years uh, since Norman Vincent Peale founded it. So we have new energy, new resources, and uh, it it's, uh, brings a smile to my heart to know that, that we've worked really hard uh, and we were attractive to, to another organization. Well, that is great. I'm I'm thankful for Abide. And I wanted to have you on, Russ, in January, because really part of what we're trying to do on Healing Rain is we're trying to talk about in January how to be healthy. Um, God heals our body. He does that miraculously, but also he does it through developing healthy habits that that naturally allow our bodies to heal. And number one is really sleep and getting really good sleep. And then uh, number one at the same time is fellowship with our creator. And so I, I really, I, I'm thankful for what you guys do. And that's really good news about um, the purchase of the app and buy a nonprofit that I know many listeners, you probably have read a guidepost before and the stories that come through in guideposts. So, well, thank you for what you're doing, Russ. I appreciate that. And I, I would be remiss if I didn't uh, share a few user feedback comments, if that's okay. Because oh, I, yeah. Go ahead. It, Go it ahead. It really, really touches to what you're talking about. And I, and I won't mention the names, but I have a sin addiction. I keep falling into temptation. I've been fighting this battle for four straight months. I need prayers, so hopefully I can get out of this sin addiction. Sins I've been struggling with are unbelief, lust, lying. I need prayers for my relationship with the Holy Spirit. I have very little belief in the Holy Spirit. I need prayers. I pray that people see my call for help and pray. Um, Mm -hmm. Please pray for all of Kentucky after the tornadoes. You know, mm -hmm. our, 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 our community is so engaged. Please pray as I struggle with mental illness and, and uh, suicide attempts. Uh, mm -hmm. Just, just um, heartbreaking stuff of what people go, go through. And how often do we see each other and you know, mm -hmm. we ask, how you doing? And then we say, oh, I'm fine. Uh, mm -hmm. when, when often we're not. So it's very humbling to see how Abide is helping people that are struggling with mental, mental health issues. And, and it's not been an easy couple of years, frankly. You know, we mm -hmm. worry about our culture. We worry about what's coming mm -hmm. next. We, we can't travel like we used to. So we're kind of feeling constrained. And, and uh, that, that affects people who don't struggle with mental health issues. Yeah, I think mental health is, it's huge. And it's huge in our healing. God works body, mind, soul, and spirit. You know, how a man thinks, so is he, as Proverbs says. Right. So, yeah, and I, I'm, I'm touched by those comments. And I do believe that we need to have more authentic, real conversations um, and invite the healer of our heart, our soul, our mind, our body um, Amen. on a daily basis. And, yeah. and we, we lift up um, 
while we don't preach, we do raise up issues for people to consider uh, that they might be struggling with and, uh, and the biblical solution. People come to abide looking for scripture and Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's great. And, and I take very seriously that notion that teachers will be held to a higher account. And uh, uh, we have tremendous writers who have a very strong walk with the, the Lord and our voiceover talent and our video editors. Uh, our team is, is yeah. just amazing. So how does the Healing Rain listener get a hold of the Abide content? Can you tell them? Well, the Sure, depending on if you have an iPhone or an Android, you can go to the App Store or Google Play, and uh, we have a seven-day free trial. Uh, like anything, you have to monetize what you're doing in order to produce the content. It's uh, um, roughly $40 a year. Uh, we have discounts from time to time, and uh, it's, it's uh, mm -hmm. one of those apps that you can download for free, and uh, there's a free version to the app, but then there's a paid version as, as well. So that's how folks can get a hold of it. And of course, we're on YouTube. Sounds good. Instagram, TikTok, Facebook, all <laughs> those places. Well, thank you, Russ. Thank you very much. And, and listener, I just want to encourage you as you head into the new year, that it's a new year and a new year. And that begins with healthy habits. Amen to that. We would love to join you in that journey. All right. Thank you for being on today. Thank you so much. Thanks for joining us today on Healing Rain. And I pray that you would have good sleep. And more than that, that you would incorporate into your life rest and that your life would be anchored on the Word of God. And so as we close today, I do want to encourage you to go to SueDoutweiler.com and download Five Steps of Grace, A Healing Guide to Freedom.